today I'm going to make show you how to make homemade a sea, homemade sea salt spray. And what this is great for is to give you that beachy wave look without using heat or anything like that. And these sprays usually cost I've seen them anywhere from twenty to thirty dollars and you can just make it with stuff that you have at home. So what you're going to need is a teaspoon and a tablespoon a cup or a jar, I prefer a jar because it's easier to uh, mix with because you can just put the lid on to shake it and then eight with eight ounces of water in it you need some kind of gel um, I like this gel, it's the herbal essence totally twisted, It's I think it's perfect for this because it's a scrunching gel you will need some kind of um, conditioner so that the salt doesn't dry out your hair. And you also need kosher sea salt. Now you're going, but Melissa, you have kosher salt here. Kosher salt is the same thing as sea salt. They're actually both sea salt. Kosher salt is just unrefined sea salt, whereas sea salt has added minerals. So if you do not have sea salt and you have kosher salt, you can use this. Or you can use sea salt. Um, if you're really in a pinch, you can use table salt, um, but I would double it up. Instead of using one teaspoon, I would use two teaspoons. And then I have my macadamia nut healing oil spray, and this is just kind of an added thing, um, just to kind of make it smell better and give it a little added extra oomph. So what you're going to do is you're first going to take your sea salt, and you're going to take a teaspoon of it, just like that, you get a nice full teaspoon, a little more, no big deal, and then put it in your jar. Put the lid on the jar and just shake it up until the salt is all dissolved. Then to help the sea salt hold, you need about half a teaspoon of gel. Uh, so you can just go like this. Get it off your and then half a teaspoon of conditioner. It's a very full one, but be good for your hair. And then I'm going to do a couple, about four sprays of my macadamia nuts. Now, if you have anything that's coconut smelled or something like that, that would, or an essential oil, um, like tea tree oil in here would be really great too. So you just shake that around until it's all mixed up and you have your sea salt spray. So all you need to do now is put it in a spray bottle and then on damp hair use it, spray it on and scrunch up your hair. I will have a video on how to do that next.